What's up guys, Ben Melkin here back for Carl's Mystery Tackle Box. I get to do one of my favorite things of all time today. In the video, we are gonna be talking about crankbait fishing when it's super, super cold outside on sexy looking habitat like I got right back here behind me and some other different types of stuff too. I have a two prong approach, two different types of baits, two different styles of baits. I like to throw this time of year whenever it gets really cold. Water gets down in the 50s, the 40s, even the 30s. I will still be out throwing a moving bait around. So let's get to throwing these around. I'll show you guys a couple tips, tricks to catch more bass this winter. Let's do it. First type of bait we're going to talk about in my two prong approach to crankbait fishing in the winter is a bait that uh, it's a staple here where I'm at in the Ozarks or on any type of steeper rock banks and that is a crawdad style medium diving crankbait. So let's talk about some of the gear I throw this on and then I'm going to show you where and how I like to fish this bait. So first off I like to throw this guy on about a 7.2 medium power moderate action rod. So what I mean by that is you got a slower action rod, the rod's going to bend more throughout the entire blank, not just the tip. That's gonna be important because you don't wanna pull these little treble hooks away from that fish. Next thing I like to do is throw it on a six three to one gear ratio reel. So kind of a nice medium speed reel. And then I throw it on like 10 or 12 pound fluorocarbon line, which is a little bit lighter usually than what I like to crank on. But the most important thing about this bait is you want it down in that cover. We're gonna talk about that in, uh, in just a second. Let me show you guys how I like to fish this. So when you're fishing this bait, this right here back behind me is, it's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a 45 degree angle bank. So what a 45 degree angle bank means is that bank comes down at a 45 degree angle. So almost a perfectly diagonal line. It's not going to be super steep like a bluff. It's not going to be super flat like a, ch like a gravel bank or something like that. And that's the absolute perfect place to throw this bait. So the reason it's perfect to throw it on a 45 degree angle bank is because that bait needs to be making contact with rocks the entire way down the bank. And it's gonna dive at about that angle. This guy dives to about seven or eight feet. So on that 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon line, you can make a long cast. I like to get myself almost perfectly parallel to the bank, if not a little bit out and make just, I don't know, like a 30 degree angle cast to the bank. And you're just gonna reel that thing nice and slow and just kind of let it work its way through those rocks. This guy's meant to act like a crawfish. Um, so, so you don't necessarily wanna be burning it you don't necessarily want to be pulling it really slow. But one tip I will share with you guys, when the bite is tough, when they don't want to eat it, one of the best ways I've found to retrieve this bait is simply kind of pulling it like a jig. Just kind of dragging it like four or five feet, pause, and dragging it again. Kind of just working it really, really slow like a, a bottom contact bait or something. That can be absolutely deadly as well. But the most important key to throwing this bait, absolutely making contact with the rocks down there. So the second style bait I like to crank with this type of year is a flat-sided crankbait. So the reason a flat-sided crankbait to me is super, super effective is, well, it has flat sides, which means it's going to be a little bit more natural. It's going to have a tighter wobbling action in the water, and when the water gets cold, a lot of times that tighter action is exactly what you need to be throwing. So the tackle I like to throw this guy on, before we get started with uh, kind of the areas I like to throw it on, uh, I'll throw this guy on a little bit bigger rod. So I'll throw it on like a 7.6 medium heavy crankbait rod. Again, moderate action. You don't want to pull those hooks away from the fish. Uh, and then I'll upsize a little bit. I'll upsize to like 15 pound fluorocarbon line. We're going to be fishing this guy in a little bit shallower water. And so we want that bait to ride a little bit higher. Uh, that heavier fluorocarbon line is going to do that. Again, 6 3 to 1 gear ratio reel. Not too fast, not too slow. All right, let's talk about where to throw this. So hopefully you guys can see what we've got right back here behind me without the sun in it too much. But um, basically what we got here, we had kind of a steeper bank and then it's transitioning into a flatter point. Flatter points are the absolute deal this time of year, especially when we got what we're going on right here. It's not a heavy uh, amount of wind, but we have wind blowing down onto this point, and that is absolutely perfect. Those fish love uh, when bait fish get pushed up on the points, they can sit there, they can ambush, and they eat everything that's coming by, and this is one of the best ways to target them. So generally what I do when I come up to a point like this is I'll position the boat so I can make a couple casts straight down the sides of the point, you know, kind of where that chunkier, steeper rock um, is mixed in. That way I can make contact with it the entire way back throughout the cast. And then I'll work my way a little bit further onto the point and make casts directly across it. Those are usually casts you're gonna get bit on because you're gonna come through a bunch of different rock transitions if you have different types of rock in your lake. Rock transitions are like my favorite place to look whenever you're cranking. So definitely look for that. Anytime it goes from chunk rock uh, to like a steeper bluff, anytime it goes from like pea gravel to chunk rock, anything in between different size rocks, 
those fish like to sit right where those two different sizes, two different styles of rock come together. There we go. All right. Made a cast all the way across this point right here. Nice flat point. Got ourselves a fish. Doesn't look like a very big one. Oh, yeah. Just a little guy, but there you go. A fish on a crankbait. Flat point crankbait fish. You cannot beat that. That's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you can go out on your lake, try those two different style baits. The, uh, the croc style bait, the middle diver style bait on a little bit deeper, 45 degree angle banks make contact with those rocks. And then when you get up on some of the flatter banks, flatter points, especially with wind blowing on them, there's a lot of guy that looks like this, a flat sided crankbait, grind him down on the rocks. And you're gonna catch more fish this winter. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this one. Don't forget to subscribe to Carl's Mystery Tackle Box YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys very, very soon. Oh,